Alright, so this is going to be a little updated video of the uh, sprinkler system I've installed. Uh, last year, I started installing it. This following year, in spring, I finished it up. Uh, it's a six zone. Six zone system on our one acre property. There is wiring for it. It's a remote controlled system. I can control it from anywhere in the yard. As you can see, I extended the uh, wire so it goes over our uh, one acre property. There's a remote for it. Um, yeah, I did all of it. All the details of the uh, what was used will be in the description in the bottom. So uh, let me take you on the tour. So it starts off over here. Uh, underneath the house, we have a one inch main line. We came in from our well pump right before it was filtered. We ran it under the house to a one inch line. As you can see here, runs up to a Toro pressure vacuum breaker. We have a drain port over here, vacuum breaker, blowout port for the season. A uh, one inch line then comes over here to our two valve boxes. We have Hunter. PGV valves. Two there, four there. Built the manifolds and everything. Install that. All these sprinkler lines are six to eight inches deep, which is the minimum, especially with these sprinkler heads and fittings. As you can see here, I labeled them to what zone each valve is for. Five, six, one, two. Those are what the order it goes to. There's two zones in our front yard, which go that way. There's a zone on the side here, two on the side in the back there, and then one all the way on the other side of the house. So uh, I'll take you around to the front, and uh, we'll start off the zones out there. We have a half horsepower pump, so each head is about two gallons per minute. There's three heads, three to four heads on each zone. That's all we can support on this pump. Not bad, 60 PSI pressure. About eight to nine gallons per minute. We have Hunter PGP Ultras on regular Hunter PGPs. That's zone one. Here's zone two. Okay, take you around to zone three. <laughs> 